that gave you a more lower quit. <laughs> All right, today we need to make sure we uh, stay on top of it today because um, one is one of my favorite days because it's like there's puzzles. You guys like puzzles? I like puzzles. I like puzzles when I don't have to get to do it in one day. I like scavenger puzzles. puzzles. Yeah, not all of those puzzles. Sometimes I'm going to just like straight up memorizing that. All right, I'm going to give you a worksheet. It says to exclude two and nine. If you do two and nine and you get them right, I'll give you a point of extra credit on your test. Yep. Very few of you will get it right. Each? One point each. If we do it, not if we get it right. You get it right. Like I said, if you do it and you get it right, please don't pass the right answer to everybody. Yeah. Please do. Okay? Um, because they're really hard. So, and it'll probably take you a long time. And you could be doing it for a long time and still get it wrong. So I'm just telling you, if you want to exclude it, you may, but if you're desiring to get a point or two of extra credit, oh, then. Oh, the number two and nine on the board. No more feet, I'm going to do They're extra credit. Okay, they're extra credit. You don't have to do them. I won't dock you if you don't do them. But if you do them and get it right, you will get a point of extra credit for each. <laughs> Okay, we talked about this yesterday, so I'm going to ignore it. All right. We've been talking in this whole chapter about enthalpy, which essentially means what? Heat. Heat, okay? So, a guy by the name of uh, Mr. Hess came up with a law that stated, okay, and we're kind of actually preceding some stuff we will see next chapter, that uh, chemical reactions, when you see a balanced chemical reaction that has the reactants that produce the products, very, very rarely, does it go straight from those reactants to those products? Usually there's intermediate steps, which we'll talk about next chapter. What I simply mean is, usually there's a series of steps that they go through, or multiple reactions in between to get from your beginning to your end, okay? If you know those steps, and you know the enthalpy of those steps, you can rearrange those steps to get the enthalpy of your balanced chemical equation, okay? by adding the steps. Now I'll show you what I mean as we progress here. But let's say I've got step one, step two, and step three. Okay? Each of them are a chemical equation. I can manipulate those chemical equations so that I can get my overall balance equation, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Okay? If I do that, if I know the enthalpy of the steps, I can figure out the enthalpy of my balanced chemical equation without knowing it. Unique. Okay. Let me show you a couple things before we tackle this. There are a few important rules that you can do when manipulating your steps to try to get your balanced chemical equation. The first one is, okay, if the coefficient of an equation is multiplied, the enthalpy must also be multiplied by a factor. So for example, if I have H2 plus O2, go to produce H2O, and they have an enthalpy of, what, negative 285. If I take and multiply this equation, I know this isn't balanced, so this should be a two, and that should be a two. If I were to take this specific equation, and I were to multiply it by two, this would be a four, this would be a two, this would be a four. I'm doubling the amount of stuff I have, so wouldn't that double the amount of heat given off? Okay, so if I double the equation, I'm going to have to double the enthalpy. That should make sense. If I divide or I multiply by a fraction, I've got to do the exact same to the enthalpy of the reaction because it should make sense. If you have twice as much or half as much, it's going to affect the amount of heat given off accordingly. Okay? Another thing that we should have seen when we did problem number 22 in our homework just a little while ago, and we talked about it. <clears throat> if an equation is reversed, so I can take this equation and flip it. If I do that, I have to change the sign of the enthalpy. This should also make sense. If this direction, it gives off energy and I flip it, the flip version should absorb that same amount of energy. Does that make sense? Okay? So what we are going to do is we're going to use these two rules to manipulate our steps 
so that we can find the unknown enthalpy of our balanced chemical equation, big picture. Okay? So, <clears throat> there are a few things that you are going to have to do. You can flip equations and balance coefficients. We will then, after we do that, I will show you what all this stuff means as we do a problem. We'll cancel out like terms and then add our steps to get the answer. There are two questions you must ask. Here they are. First question. the correct side and I will elaborate on all of these steps, all of these things as we go through the first problem. It probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but it will. Okay? see this. This is what your homework and your test is going to look like. They're going to give you some steps and then you're going to give you your balanced overall balanced chemical equation. Okay? In your homework, your steps are below and your balanced chemical equation is above. Okay, so just, just want to make that clarification so that when you're going through and you're like, well, I thought it was below all those times and now it's above. Does that make sense? So this would be step one, this is going to be step two. So my goal is to manipulate these equations so that things cancel out to give us this. Okay, and here's how we do it. Okay, we are going to look at our template for what we want. Okay, I'm going to start by looking at the very first guy. And I'm going to ask myself two questions. What are those two questions? I am going to take this and look at my steps. Find CS2. Where does it occur? Second. It's right here. All right, now I'm going to ask myself, is it on the correct side? What do I mean when I say on the correct side? Reactant or product, right? Is it where it would need to be based on down here? Yes. yes. Does it have the correct coefficient? Yes. If the answer to both of them is yes, you can do this. Lock it in, baby. <laughs> Love it. What I mean by that is, can I, would I want to flip this or multiply by a coefficient or anything like that anymore? No, if I did, it would mess up that, wouldn't it? Okay, so it's locked in, baby. Okay. Right, that one's good. Let's move on. Okay, where does that occur? The first one. The first one. Now notice where it is. Oh, we have two questions to ask. First question is, is it on the correct side? The answer is? No. no, if it's not on the correct side, there are two things that we talked about earlier that we can do. We can either multiply by a coefficient or we can flip it. <coughs> what do we want to do? Oh. We're all going to want to do both, but let's just do one at a time. Okay? I need this to be a reactant, so I'm going to flip it. H2O plus SO2 goes to produce these things. Absolutely. I'm going to get rid of this, but I have to change the sign because if it was an exothermic Ford reaction, it's going to be an endothermic reverse reaction. Okay? Following so far? Sure. All right. I've answered the first question. Got it on the correct side now, but it does not have the correct coefficient. I want a coefficient of 2. It has a coefficient of 1. The second thing that we can do to manipulate an equation is multiply the whole reaction by a specific variable. In this case, we want to do 2. Now, just like in math, 
you are manipulating a math problem, you can't just multiply one side by two. You've got to do it to everything, right? So we are going to do that here. Two, 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 and what does this change to? Three. Six over two, which is what? Now, this is the most common mistake, is students will flip it, or they'll multiply by a coefficient, and they'll forget to do what? Okay, you get into the habit of, oh, I want to do this puzzle, and you start flipping things, and multiplying things, and moving everything around, and then you forget to do it to your enthalpy values, and if you forget to do it to your enthalpy values, you, should, you can get everything to work out, and then get the wrong answer. Does that make sense? So, slow down, don't go too fast, all right? Now, correct side, correct coefficient, what can I do? Everybody, lock it in, lock it in. baby. baby. Yeah. All right. Amen. Okay? Now, notice how I have both my steps locked in, so technically, I should be done, which means CO2 should probably be where it's supposed to be. It is. Does it have the correct coefficient, and is it on the correct side? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, so you go back to the original one, not the one that you made for that. You want to compare it to this. Okay. Yep. Correct side, correct coefficient? Yep. All of them are good. We have just done step one of those three steps that were in your notes. It said step one was to flip equations and balance coefficients as you need. What does step two say to do? Cancel out like, Cancel out like terms. Okay? In math, if you've got 2x plus 4 equals x plus 2, what do these x's do? Cancel out. They cancel. If they're on opposite sides, they cancel. What if they were on the same side? When you divide out. So it'd be 3x. You would add them. So if they're on the same side, you add. If you're on opposite sides, you what? Yeah, essentially they would cancel, right? Same thing is going to happen in this. So I'm going to circle the guys that are are good. We said that's good. Okay. We said that's good. We said CO2 is where we want it. And this is where we want it. Everything else should cancel. Let's look. 2SO2 on the left. 2SO2 on the right. Bye bye. Wow, that is so cool. That makes 3O2 on the left. 3O2 on the right. Add down. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Wait, Does that equal that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The final step then says we can figure out the enthalpy of this reaction by maneuvering these and then adding their what? Enthalpy. So the enthalpy of my balanced chemical re equation is going to be sum the sum of my steps after I've got it all to work out. Solve, and you should get. chemical equation we did not know the enthalpy of, but we knew the steps that gave us this. We maneuvered the steps to get it to work out, and we has this law says we then add their individual enthalpies and we can find the unknown balanced chemical equations enthalpy. Now, I can prove this to you. We could do what we did yesterday. We could go to the back of our book and we could find all the enthalpy values from the from that chart. We could do products minus reactants and you should should, should get this number. Okay? This is another method of figuring out this number. Okay? Let's do a different one. Done. Absolutely. There's your answer. So, what, you, what do we do? We try to get these steps to cancel out to give us our balanced chemical equation by either flipping or multiplying by coefficients to get things to work out. Once you've locked everything in, look to see if everything cancels out correctly and adds correctly. 
And if it does, you can add the amical piece together. Why are there three? Oh. Don't worry. So that, that first one we just did was an easy one. Uh, Why did you say don't worry then? Because you guys are smart. I have flattery. I have high. I have high faith in you guys. <laughs> okay. It becomes more difficult when you start to see things in, in multiple places. Okay, you actually could potentially find like water to be in like all three of them. Okay? And that's where it be can become a little bit more difficult. It's not in this one, but I'm just saying you cancel those out. You will have to get them to remember if they're on the same side they would cancel, if they're on opposite sides they don't. Okay, so let's start with this guy. What what is our like beginning place that we're going to do? You should start with two S and multiply the third one by two. Okay, you're going to look at this. Now, in the previous problem, it only appeared in one of the equations. If it appears in multiple equations, okay, just like we did in kind of the so like, uh, when we did balanced chemical equations, when it appeared on both sides, we usually stayed away from it, right? And we 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 balanced all the other guys, and a lot of times it balanced itself while we were balancing the other guys. Okay, for example, we have three steps, but I have four things here. So three of the four are going to lock these in. One of them. We can eliminate. We can just ignore. You know, we'll talk about it as we get there. Okay. Find where the S is. Where is it? The third one. Third one. Okay. Not in any other one. So let's deal with it. Questions you should ask are. Is it on the correct side? side. Yes. 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 Have the no. 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 So. By two. So two. Two. Two and. Right? Then, once we've got it where it needs to go and the correct coefficient, we all should say? Lock it in. Lock it in. Baby. Baby. No, everybody. Lock it in. Baby. 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 Oh, no. Oh, my soul. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Stay with me. Don't try to get uh, Wait, why is this different? Is our arch changes arch? 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 and both yeah, are completely different. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. 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 Working on the middle one? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. You can't just, you can't. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I got you. Uh, Where else could you? Hmm. I think. You guys write a minute and change it. One of them is wrong. I just don't know which one is the wrong. No. Um, well, the first, first one is the same. Okay, the first one's right. The second one. This is right, so what you have is wrong. So change your second and third one to these numbers. You said the first one was the same, right? I need to make a change on that. Okay. 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 Now let's go on to the 2OF2. Where is it? Left side. It's the first one on the left. Okay. Correct side, yes or no? Yes. yes. Correct coefficient, yes or no? No, no. no? so what do we do? Two. two. And then SO2 is. You guys realize that you, you're going to multiply, so if there is a coefficient, you've got to multiply, right? Yeah. Okay, and then, don't forget this. Yeah. Happens a lot. The third one's in the far side. Then the fourth one. Okay, stop for a second. Look at where these two, look at how many times it occurs. Twice. Twice. So let's see if we can just go on and see if this only appears once. It does. It does. So don't mess with this one because it's going to be more confusing. Could you do it? Yeah, absolutely. You can try it, but you can only manipulate the middle one. You couldn't touch this one anymore, right? Okay, so technically you could look up here and go, oh, I need one on the right, so I'm going to have to flip this so that I have one here and two over here. We'll end up canceling one of the two. Everybody see it? Or no? If I flip this equation, I'll have one SO2 over here 
and two over here. What this will cancel out with one of these, leaving me with one on the right, which is what it is. Oh, now yes. you can, without having to think maybe as much, just deal with the uh, uh, SF four. Which look, is, wouldn't that tell me to do the exact same thing? Flip it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Now, your homework worksheet, they don't line up the arrows very well, so you might want to line them up on your own if that confuses you, because sometimes it can look like it's on the left based on comparing it to the other arrows of the other guys, but it would actually be on the right. So, yeah, I, I was like, well, maybe I should do, write, do a new worksheet, but I didn't want to rewrite the other equations. Yeah. So. And I got that on the internet, so. <laughs> All right, so we flipped it. What do we do to the side? Right, so I flipped it, so I'm just going to get rid of it and then rewrite it down here with the sign change. Okay? So now, technically, everything is locked in. Once all of them are locked in, we can go check to see if things cancel out the way they should. All right? We've got our two S here. I always circle the ones that are the, what we want to keep. Okay. Now here is where it becomes a little difficult. Wow. Okay, everybody see it? This is going to cancel out with one of these. Got it? And then that's F4. Everything else should cancel. Two H2O's, opposite sides. Two yep. O2's, opposite sides. Everybody see it? Four HF, four HF, opposite sides. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. Okay. After we manipulated it, everything else is canceled except for what we need. If there everything cancels except for what we need and they're in the right locations, what can we do? to follow notes, isn't it? No. Because it's like a bunch of canceling and a bunch of... Yeah, it's just how am I going to write it? Like, so maybe what might be best is like, you do want to like take some notes, but you want to absorb it because if you look back at your notes, you might just get confused. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's a lot we did in the process. Yeah, um, when we multiply the third one by two, did you, did you do the SO2 by two? Yes, but I remember it was it, this was one, and this was two. Yeah. So oh. I canceled that I, out and yeah, erased yeah, it and made it a one. Okay, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Nice, right? What'd you guys get for an answer? You said negative 320? Yeah. Let's yeah. just All right. I mean is I cannot mess with this equation anymore because if I did it would get it would remove 
where it needs to be in the correct oh, So it's all contingent yeah. on if only one element is the same. I mean, if, if, yeah, if you have an element that it appears only once, okay. and it's where it needs to be, you cannot touch this equation anymore. It will mess up that one element. Okay, once I get that in my head, that'll be cool. Okay. But if it has multiple things, that will become a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Okay. Well, not, you might eventually have to work through some of them. The more difficult ones, you will. But, okay, so we know that this one's good. Let's look at TI. Yep. One place, same coefficient. Okay, so it's in the same equation, though, so it doesn't really help us out much, does it? No. And how about CO2? Ah, in two spots. Everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't help us out any. All right, MgCl2. Oh. So we do have to deal with this guy, don't we? Yeah. So we have to, well, all three of these appear in two spots, and we're going to have to make some sense of it. Okay? Well, this one actually ends up being a little bit more of a thinker than I thought. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Speed right. Does it matter which one? Yes, because it canceled it. Well, hold yeah. on. Stop. It does, because I just tried. Well, if you lock in that one, you can only do it between those two. That's what. Oh. Okay. If you lock it in the If I were to guess, What if I, I'm just going to experiment here. Two, 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 two. No. Why? Because I cancel. Well, this cancel out leaving me with one oh, on the left. Cancel. Well, this cancel out leaving me with one on the left. Uh -huh. And no, well, this cancel out with one of this leaving me one on the right. right. Oh. Done. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Right on time. Uh. <laughs> so you have to do some thinking. Yes, on the ones where there are multiple things, everything else should be in good spot, and we could add them all up. Okay, this is gonna cancel with one. Good. This is gonna cancel out making this one. Good. This is gonna cancel out making this one. Good. Okay. Ooh, look at this. One and one add to be two, cancels out with two. Oh. Do you oh. see it? Yeah. Oh, you would add. Oh. When they're on the same side, you add. Remember how I said like terms add on the same side? Yeah. That's a good example of that. That okay. is so cool. This is locked in. This is locked in. And this is locked in. Everything cancels except for what we want. Then we can simply do what? Just add the, add the enthalpy values. Now it's just a matter of remembering how. It's actually my favorite lesson ever. Yeah. I know, right? So good. Hello, camera. Oh, no, no, no. If I could have any relationship in the world, it would, it would be plankton and carrots. Oh, Why? Oh, 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 Okay, I don't have all the food. Come grab them there. I gotta keep them. So janky. <laughs> Every single time it goes through these, I think I don't want more. Yeah, that's yeah. Don't leave without grabbing the lunchie, please. Yeah, I gotta grab it. I gotta hand it in the world. Yes, more. Wait, is it the worksheet or do we have a. No, just worksheet. Just don't, you don't have to do two and nine unless you want to try to get the extra credit. Okay. How many other tests? Write that down. You suck. It's going to happen. Wow. This is a disaster, Jenny. What? Jenny, you say that all the time. I don't even want to hear you go. Yep, you're right. Thanks. Woo! 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 Wait, I didn't even hear what you said. Oh, what did you say? Yeah, you said, you said, shut up, and you're like, wow. I thought you said that. You said that. Nah, hey. I'm trying to make it awkward for me. No. <laughs> Is it a roof day? It's really light. It's a what? Wow. What is this? I can escape. What's that? Can I this is my note packet. It's on my desk. What? I, I like your handwriting. Nope. Uh, I like your handwriting. Oh, thank oh you. wow. Thanks, yeah. Natalie. You, got one? you did get one. I did. Thank you. Wow. This is another really hard lesson. Yes. Uh, uh, 
Also, we also try to go to West now because you're going to do one on Monday. So we're going to get the West on Monday. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.